welcome back to another Halloween video. Simple video today using glass slippers, carbon black and orange zest. So I'm coming in here on the pinky with the orange zest and I'm just blending that colour down. And this is going to be a, a simple ombre nail. Coming in on the middle finger, same again. This one is going to be an ombre. Just making sure you build up that opacity on the tip so it's nice and solid this nail is going to be a decal which have to go on a white base so I am coming in here with snowdrops white This index finger is going to be a full nail of the carbon black and then I'm coming in with some glitter, just some loose glitter on top of that. Try and work as thin as you can so we're not bulking those nails up. Then while, while the nail is wet, I pick up just my loose glitter, no acrylic, and I put the glitter on top of that wet acrylic. And then again, you're saving on bulking out your nail. Make sure you pat and press it down so it's flat to the nail bed. Again, this also helps to make sure that you're not bulking out the nail. I'm now coming in with carbon black to do my ombre. Now, doing an ombre with black is very, very difficult. Um, because it's so highly pigmented, it gets everywhere. So I just come in with a little bead first and blend that over my colour. So I've already started my blend. I'm now coming in with my cuticle bead. And just blending that into the first bead that I put down making sure it's nice and neat at the cuticle and then what I do I, I get some monomer on my brush and just sort of clean up that orange orange part of the nail and just work in super tiny beads to make sure that you get that blend right. And then I come in with a bit more orange just to finish it off. I 
And now I'll just pick some of that rose glitter up again and doing kind of a swoosh on this pinky finger. Again, on the middle finger, the ombre, same as we did on the pinky. Starting off with a small bead to start off that blend. Exactly the same as we did on the pinky finger. So I hope you're all keeping well and safe. Thank you to everybody that subscribes to my channel. I really do appreciate it. Hope you like my videos. I'm now coming in with base coat for my decal on the ring finger. And you put that base coat on and you do not cure it until you've put your decal on. It gives you time to maneuver it around the nail, get it where you want it. Make sure that it's in the right place then you pop it in your lamp to cure for 60 seconds I'm now coming in with a bit of the carbon black and some of that loose glitter just to fill that that white space at the top of the nail because i did i didn't like how it looked i mean you don't have to but i just preferred it this way And then when I've done this, I cap and file all my nails off camera. And I have put some gems on, but I don't know what's happened to that piece of footage where it's all. I'm sorry about that. And then I'm coming in with my no white top coat. As always from Glitter Bells. I just love that glitter. Look at those colours in it. Gorgeous. So we've come to the end of this video, guys. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for joining me. If you're not subscribed already, I would love it if you did. And don't forget to hit that bell notification button and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So until next time guys, bye!